Hello, I'm a budget model and this is episode 5 of my FX 112th Doctor Who Welcome Aboard Diorama Build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brilliant. Thank you. To begin this episode we're going to be cutting out and fitting all the windows. So without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we have all the windows fitted to the TARDIS. Pop those to dry. Next up we're going to be painting his cuffs, but not his collar. Think about it. And as this is just a short bit, we'll then move straight on to gluing the centre console up. So, here we go. See what I mean? That was short. Now the centre console. There's the legs of the centre console glued on. I used Revel Contactor Professional on those. Next up we'll glue the door handles on. So here we go with that. There we have door handles all glued in place. Now for those famous Converse trainers he wears. Let's get the white bits painted. There we have the soles and the laces painted on those famous Converse. Next up we're going to add the top ledges onto the TARDIS walls. So let's get those cracked shall we?
there we go that's them ledges glued down now can you guess what I'm going to be doing now no nope, not a door but his head well his eyes actually wish me luck well I've got those looking get it as well as I can so they aren't cross-eyed bonus now for some cleanup on his raincoat so let's crack on with that And there we have the raincoat all tidied up. Let's pop that to one side to dry. Next, we're going to start on some electricery. First, I'm stripping the wires back on the top light. So, here goes. Right, there we have those stripped back. That didn't take long, did it? Just so you can see it working. This is the pulsing light for the heart of the TARDIS. Cool, isn't it? It'll also be connected to the top light as that also pulses. So I'll have to rig this up later. Next, we can carry on and clean up that center console. Should have dried by now. So let's crack on. We have the center console cleaned and touched up what next i know let's do his screwdriver his sonic screwdriver there we go that didn't take long did it blink and you missed it or just don't blink anyway next up is touching up his suit so here we go with that That's his suit done. I used thin coats there, more of a glaze than anything else. Anywho, onto the backdrop that goes here. I'm just test fitting it here so I can work out where I need to drill the holes for the wiring. Luckily, there is a nice little curve here which shows you where the backdrop curves, so I can use that as a guide. So it's out with a trusty hammer drill and as if by magic, there we have a decent sized hole drilled. I only use the hammer drill because the bits I have don't fit any of my modeling drills. And I also don't use the hammer part turned on. That would just be silly. Now, let's get down to some electricery. We're going to need a switch to turn it on and off, a battery holder, 
some black wire, some red and yellow wire, a micro light soft white, some more wire, black, red and yellow, a green 3mm LED that works, and finally a bright white light. Next we can start hooking everything up. I'm starting to work from the top down. Connect, then test. Connect, then test at every single stage. To be honest with you, I think I did more testing than actual wiring on this. So, here we go. This is what I'm helping to use with my connectors. Heat shrink, twist wires together, cover them with this stuff, heat them up, works a treat. Let's crack on. As I was removing the speaker, one of the wires came away. As you can see, it was rusty. I did try gluing it, but that didn't work, so I had to order a new one. Also, cock up time, I wired the inside top light in series with a top light that's going to pulse. Anybody notice? Phew, thought not. Let's carry on. So there we have the top light wired in and tested and working. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode four. If you want to see what happens in episode five, please subscribe to the channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.